Hi guys, Seb Brandt again, the Britpreneur, and I wanted to do this video today on how to link an Infusionsoft opt-in form with a ClickFunnels opt-in form. So this is a common problem that I see with uh, ClickFunnels or ClickFunnels users as well, where they're trying to integrate uh, the service to Infusionsoft. And to be honest, uh, I've had a lot of problems with it, but I've found a workaround that works perfectly well. So in order to do this, you'll need to be logged into both your uh, your ClickFunnels account and then your Infusionsoft account. So the first thing that you'll need to do, if we jump over to Infusionsoft, so let's just jump into one of my clients' campaigns and I'll just walk you through it. So we'll just load a campaign up. And just wait for it to load. This is quite a quite a big campaign. Okay, cool. So what we'll basically need is you'll need to create a new web form goal. Okay, so all you do is just drag that onto the screen there. And then once you've done that, if we open that up, you're then going to need to decide what fields you're going to capture. So we just wait for that to load. So what you need to do, I mean, what I'm capturing is first name, last name, email, phone number. Um, if you don't want to capture last name, then what you do is go into field snippets and then you will just need to drag the appropriate option. So we've got name. If we drag name on there, for example, it will say first name, but you can actually edit this. So it says last name, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we're just going to delete that because uh, I've already got that. So let me get rid of that. And so you just want to make sure you've got the right fields. And then that also has to match what you're doing on ClickFunnels. So if I jump over to ClickFunnels and just show you, uh, just show you what I mean there. And just wait for that to load for you guys. Okay, so what I've basically got, if I show the pop-up, is I have a form that has all of the different fields that I want done. So in ClickFunnels, you need to basically if you want to add a new element you want to go to add and then go to i believe it's form and then advanced form let me go to form and then you can add uh text input and all that good stuff so the best thing to do once you've added the text input is then duplicate that so go over here and hit duplicate and then you've got first name last name email address and mobile number so what you can do as well if you go to settings is you can change the what appears here and if you go to advanced then you can actually change the icon on the right hand side so as you can see for email we've got the email icon uh, and there's also a phone icon and an address icon so that's that's how i've done the the icons here so the name icon is is there the emails there and the phone icons there so it just makes it look a little bit nicer not completely necessary but what is necessary is the uh, the the different if we jump to settings again? We need to make sure the input type is correct. Um, the placeholder text should be correct as well, and you can decide if that's required or not. But again, this has to match exactly what is in Infusionsoft. As you can see here, um, it does match exactly. And so once you've done that, just click save inside of Infusionsoft. So uh, I'm not going to save because this is a live funnel. So the next step that you'll need is you'll need to grab the thank you page link. So all you do is come over here, right click that and go to copy link address. And then once we've got that, we jump over to the thank you page. And we want to change this because it might be set to thank you page uh, by default. So change that to web address, paste the link there. And it's very important that you do this in this particular order that I'm showing you, by the way. So make sure you paste the link there. And then go to settings. Uh, you want to make sure that's both of these are ticked. Uh, duplicate checking. Make sure that's ticked as well. Uh, you can send yourself an email. I, I don't usually bother. Uh, and then go to code. And that's where the code will be. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you hit uh, come out of that. Cool. So just jump back in. I'm not sure why it kicked me out. But before you embed the code into Infusionsoft, 
uh, which is what we're going to do. You want to make sure this is published. So again, just to recap, you want to add a new web form. You want to go in. You want to change the fields. So they say first, so we delete that. I'm not sure why that didn't delete before. Thank you page. You want to go to the thank you page from ClickFunnels. Make sure that's in there. Go to settings. Make sure these are both ticked. You don't want any uh, recapture um, pop-ups coming up or anything like that. And then you want to go and click publish. Okay, so that's all published. I'm not going to publish because this is just a test one. So once you publish your campaign, then you're going to jump over to the code section and you want to go to HTML code unstyled. You want to copy the code in here and it will a pop up will say that you've copied that. We're then going to jump back to back to here guys okay go to edit page and for this step you don't need to actually integrate Infusionsoft um, so you don't need to do that so all you do is go to integrations okay you want to select null and you want to go to existing integration form so again integration HTML form it will probably say null but you just want to select HTML form um, action integrate existing form and you want to paste all of the code here okay and as you can see I've already done that so what I'm going to do is go to remove integration and then so this is exactly what you'll see you'll see an HTML form option and then action is integrate existing form and then we're going to paste the code below here okay now this this steps important where it says script I'm just going to zoom in slightly so you guys can see that from the beginning script to the bottom script we want to delete that so just highlight all of that okay make sure you've not highlighted anything above that so anything where it says form keep that in but the from the start to the end script bit you just want to delete that okay make sure that's gone and then hit pass and save web form okay and then what you can do is it's going to select the fields from the Infusionsoft form so first name last name email and phone and then we want to click save and that is everything that that is all the work you need to do I do advise that you test this to make sure it's working absolutely fine um, so the easiest way to test that if we open a new tab uh, there is a way of testing it that I'll show you as well which is good for you to know so one way of testing it is adding a plus and then a different number at the end of the email so the advantage of doing that is you're able to do a lot of different tests using the same email but you just change the number at the end as you can see I had number 80 because I've done quite a few um, tests with this particular email so uh, that that's a good tip for you as well if you're testing funnels um, you don't need lots and lots of different emails just use the same email add a plus and add a whatever number you want to add and it will work exactly the same as if you were trying different emails so hopefully this helps you guys and I, I know there were some issues with click funnels and Infusionsoft linking up um, in terms of the opt-in form so hopefully this helps you out um, any questions just make sure to drop that in the comments box and I'll be sure that those are answered so thanks for tuning in I appreciate your time. Uh, give me a like, a, a comment, and a subscribe if you got some value from this. I want to do more tutorials in this fashion because I know they're helpful to you guys. And I'll catch up with you soon.